Alright, so this is just going to be a little update video on uh, my absence and plans for future videos. I'm just going to keep this short and simple. So, essentially I've been taking time away from activities, not necessarily because they're too stressful for me or whatnot, but just so I can dedicate towards bettering my mental health because it's been kind of a mess and I didn't really grasp how much of a mess it was until about a month or two ago. As of now, I am doing a lot better and I've been working on a few videos in the background, but regular video production is gonna start up. As for stopping making videos, it's not necessarily that it was too stressful for me or I was getting burnout, it was nothing like that. I just simply wanted to put that off for a bit so I can dedicate more so to, like I said, bettering my mental health. And right now I'm in a position where I actually don't really have an issue starting videos again, and in fact I'm actually really excited to do some more videos. So as of now, here are my current work in progress videos. I'm just reading down my list because I actually have organized my videos and shit. Uh, one mailbox. Oh yeah, so I remember back a few months ago I was doing uh, live streams where I was walking a million blocks in Minecraft, uh, Java edition, and then uh, using another, like basically making another highway all the way back to zero zero. Of course, uh, that didn't happen. You know, I died because it was basically doing it on a single life. No deaths, no beds, nothing. Uh, no beds for respawning, I actually did break the bed. Um, I don't know if I'll revisit that video, I might. Apex Stuffs, oh yeah! Uh, back near the end of Season 4 and Season 5 of Apex Legends, I did a couple of live streams with uh, Aiden and Angelo, for those of you who remember them, I salute you. Um, those videos, months old, recorded those back in May, but I still want to put those out because honestly, they were really fun to stream, and uh, <laughs> there was a couple of really stupid strategies we did that were actually like funny. As for Hardcore Plus, I put that whole stream series off simply because my controller has a drift. It kind of makes it a lot harder to play VR with the joystick, so currently I'm in touch with Oculus support except for I haven't gotten back to them in weeks. I probably should do that. But yeah, um, Hardcore Plus hasn't died, I just need to do more live streams of it. And uh, when Outer Wilds released on Steam, I actually revisited the game, I did all the achievements, all the easter eggs, and all the endings in uh, a set of four live streams. So I was planning on making two highlights out of that, those will go out soon. And Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, I'm actually, I've beat the original game, but I've actually been live streaming playing the HD renovation in VR only. It does kind of suck because there's no um, VR controller support. Not to say that the game really needs it, but you basically have to play with a gamepad, but I did find out that with Virtual Desktop, which is what I use to play PC VR on my Quest, that you can actually use like a weird emulation to use your touch controllers as a gamepad. So I'll try that out next time I actually... Yeah, I did that stream three months ago. And then I also have that VR video essay in the works at the moment. Uh, we'll talk about that more another time, possibly, or just until it releases. So there's all my work in progress videos. Now, as for stuff I want to revisit uh, on my Xbox, I want to do more Apex Legends live streams. Uh, a lot of these will be live streams because I don't want to really make dedicated videos to these things because, you know, I don't think it's worth it necessarily, but I still want to complete them. So that's why I'm thinking a live stream is a better alternative. Uh, Black Ops 3 and 4 Easter eggs. I think I'll also do live streams for those. And back when I did Call of Duty World War 2, uh, it's like three years ago, I never played a DLC 2, 3, or 4 on the zombies, so I want to revisit that as well. Uh, Skyrim, when I did that big modded series, I never actually did all that much, so I want to revisit those in live streams as well, especially Just Cause 4. Um, I actually played a lot of Just Cause 4 on my own. And I have basically the entire map, it's just the main quest still isn't done in a lot of the side quests. As for games on my Switch, I actually want to start doing Crash Bandicoot and the Spyro remakes, like I want to do speedruns for those games. Uh, Human Fall Flat, I never finished that game as well, and apparently there's a, a couple new levels or something, so that's interesting. Pokemon Sword, that series didn't die either, I need to just finish it i still even have i haven't even done the first gym oh my god and i think the second dlc is almost out uh shovel knight finally got the fourth expansion thing treasure trove or something like that i don't remember but it basically is where you play as uh king knight and there's also the uh the player versus player mode that they finally released snake pass i remember playing that game 
uh, back when I got my Switch, and I only did really like a couple of videos on it, but I think that's something I'll do on a live stream. Same with the Untitled Goose game, I think I only did about a third or half the game. As for Steam games, because I actually got a PC that can run proper games now, I have quite a few Steam games, but the ones that I really want to make videos on are GTFO. I haven't beat any of the rundowns yet, but Rundown 4 is actually releasing. Yeah, it's releasing in about a week. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Phasmophobia, I, but I've only been doing that in VR, but I want to make videos on Phasmophobia, it's so good. Now, there's this free game. Uh, I downloaded it a few months ago when I saw it in an ad, it looks really good and I wanted to try it. It's called Splitgate Arena Warfare. Imagine like Titanfall mixed with Portal. It looks really good. I'm surprised, like I'm not seeing much about this game. Yeah, that's besides the point. I do want to make videos on that, see how the game is. Like I said, I want to revisit Spooky. I mean, uh keep doing that. Not to mention, on October 1st, they released a new expansion. I think it's called Dollhouse or something. So now we have the main game, Karamari Hospital, and Dollhouse. Now, I've seen everything about this game. I pretty much know the entire game inside and out. Besides Dollhouse, I know nothing about it. So that's going to be pretty interesting. As for VR stuff, I want to do more Beat Saber, especially since I have it on PC now. I can't really do much competitive on PC because the PC version apparently is actually really poorly made and I just can't play it. I have to do the quest version for competitive stuff. Not to mention the multiplayer update came out, so that's cool. I also want to do Pavlov VR, the quest version and the PC version. The quest version because it's just more chaotic since there's no moderation and apparently with recent updates it's actually good now. I also want to play Until You Fall, which is um really interesting indie game I've been following for a while and playing, but I'm only going to do videos of that for B-roll and for actually completing different like having completed runs, because I haven't completed any of the difficulties yet. So yeah, those are all of my plans. Keep in mind, none of this is set in stone. These are just my plans of what I want to do, what I want to catch up on, you know, the live streams I want to do, and I'm really excited and I actually have the motivation to do this stuff now. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I hope you guys are at least partially as excited as I am, so uh, yeah, see y'all later.